All right, I want to take this opportunity to present to you a little product from Michael Brown. And I think it's quite awesome, to be honest. We're all familiar with Traveller and Cepheus Engine's UPP, uh, or planetary profiles rather, such as, you know, law level and tech level and etc. Well, this is another set of scores, rather like that, but refers to the socio-cultural environment on the planet. So rather than just, you know, when your players reach a new planet, just having basically the raw details law level and that's tech level that, and that's it. Here you can get into how the society functions. And again, you roll it up in a very similar way. So let me just breeze through this for you. So yeah, Michael Brown. Uh, culture includes the communal behaviours, foundations and standards found in the Sofont society. So we're going to learn how that society function and how it's gelled together. So here we've got the scores going across. You've got an overall rating, which just gives you a summary that you could perhaps add on to the planetary profile. You've got adaptability, uniformity, mores. I'm struggling to read it sideways. Atypicality, comprehensibility, tolerance and progressiveness. So let's just take a quick look at these. So adaptability is the first one. It's a measure of how the society has historically adapted to its environment. So how well do they fit in with their planet? Are they living in the trees? Are they digging, into, are they digging burrows into the ground? Are they building massive cities? That, that sort of ex, uh, description. So obviously there are various DMs that you apply to the normal 2D6 role and it gives you quite varied results. You can see there's a full table describing everything. Next one, uniformity. Uh, measures how harmonious and cohesive the society is. So if it's not very cohesive, you could have a lot of trouble. You could have a lot of different factions. But if it is very cohesive, then obviously everybody is all of one mind. And again, this is all spread out and described across the various uh, values on the dice. Moors are deeply ingrained and widely accepted cultural customs. So, for instance, let's have a look at here. Focused on personal pleasure and avoiding pain. Well, that's that's going to be a very hedonistic society. But we go all the way through to morality transcends personal desires and limitations. So you can see from those two varying options, the way the people behave in the society will be different. And that will fill in, uh, expand, if you like, the the feel of this planetary culture. Atypicality measures uh, their deviation from the interstellar norms. So we all imagine, though, as we're traveling across the empire from planet to planet, that all of the civilized uh, planets are pretty much the same. Well, here we can vary them radically or fit them onto the normal profile. Comprehensibility documents the complexity of visual and written forms of communication. So when you land on this high tech planet can you understand you know their their news media is it even comprehensible is it full of too many in-group references is it incomprehensible to your newly arrived travelers tolerance a degree of acceptance that the society has not only for strangers off-worlders and their ways but unusual phenomena such as psionics so <laughs> it says here on zero they're completely xenophobic so again, that's going to affect how the travellers or the Cepheus characters will uh, experience the world. So let's roll on by here. We've got progressiveness. The society's capacity to advance itself. So again, are they really small c conservative? Are they afraid of change? Uh, do they like what works and do they stay with what works? Are they afraid to experiment? And again, you've got a wide uh, set of options for that. This is quite an odd stat, the overall rating, which is an at-a-glance assessment of the society's general attitude and relations. So basically you're averaging everything you've already rolled and it just gives you a, uh, an overview. This booklet has some examples of cultural generation. So let's look at this one I've highlighted here. So this society lives in harmony with its environment, is collectively committed to a higher ideal and cooperates to that end pretty homogenous emphasize emphasizes empath, empathizes and cares for one another has seemingly unconventional even illogical social survival strategies now there's words to conjure with 
has a multi-layered communication style with complex symbiology. So perhaps when they speak, eye movements are very important, or hand movements, or the stance that you take, or possibly even the clothes that you wear could be very important to what you're trying to say. They're eager to learn from, from and about other cultures. Okay, so they're open to strangers, cautiously open to social change. So if somebody comes in with a new idea, they might adopt it has a few differences with and accommodates off-welders, so they seem quite welcoming. And so this gives you this set of codes, which look very familiar to any players, that describes that society. This is ideal for the referee. When your players come to a new world, you've not only got the statistics, or, you know, planetary size and law level and technology, but you've got all this extra information, and that can affect perhaps how custom officials address the people who arrive and they get a feel for whether they're going to be welcomed, rejected or even put upon. And there we go, that's the end of it. It's quite a short PDF, but it is absolutely filled with some very valuable rules for the referee.